Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're diving into the Megalodon, the giant cousin of the great white shark. They look alike, but they're very different. They have different families, sizes, and fates. Megalodons had huge teeth and ruled the oceans for 13 million years, but they couldn't handle their heavy body and the changing climate. They went extinct about 3.6 million years ago, long before a supernova explosion that some people thought was the cause. Great whites are smaller and smarter. They could outsmart and out the megalodons. They also helped kill them off by competing for food and space. The only thing left of the megalodon today is its teeth, which are made of hard enamel. The rest of its body was made of soft cartilage, which decomposes quickly. That's why we don't find bones or fossils of this amazing creature. The megalodon was a king of the ocean, but couldn't survive the test of time. But what about the blue whales? How did they become so huge? And how did the megalodon's body help them? Sharks have soft cartilage instead of hard bones like other fish or whales. This makes them lighter and faster, but also easier to decompose. That's why we only find their teeth as fossils. The megalodon had a big problem. It needed a lot of food to keep its body warm and alive, but it couldn't find enough. The ice age made the ocean colder and less productive. The whales and dolphins became smarter and faster. They could escape from the megalodon's mouth or fight back with their teeth. The great white shark was more adaptable and flexible. It could eat smaller fish and seals, and it could hunt in different environments. It also competed with the megalodon for food in space. The megalodon couldn't survive these changes and went extinct about 3.6 million years ago. But this was good news to some whales, especially the baleen whales. These whales had a different way of eating. They didn't have teeth, but baleen plates that filtered small animals like krill and plankton from the water. They could eat a lot of food without wasting energy on biting or chasing. They could grow bigger and bigger with evolution because they had more proteins and fats in their bodies. They could also keep warm in the cold water with their thick blubber. But they had a big enemy, the megalodon. The megalodon could easily bite through their soft bodies and kill them. The baleen whales were slow and vulnerable. They couldn't reproduce fast enough to survive. So to evolve and give birth to huge blue whales, the huge megalodons had to die. Or did they? Some people still believe that the megalodons are alive and hiding in the deep ocean, away from human eyes. But this is very unlikely, if not impossible. Today, humans are overfishing the ocean and starving modern sharks that eat less than the megalodons. How can a megalodon survive in such a situation? And where is the evidence? Sharks shed thousands of teeth in their lifetime, but we haven't found any recent ones from the megalodons. We haven't seen any bite marks on whales or any other signs of their presence. So what do you think? Is there a chance that the megalodon is still out there? Or is it just a myth? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. See you next time.